Hello. This, this is another episode of Uncut with KJH, a video series where there are no cuts, no edits, no nothing, and you get to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I'm going to talk about blush. This is um, what I have on my face. I've got on concealer and I've got on bronzer. I've done two separate videos that should be already live, all on concealing and bronzing, and I'm going to finish the sort of base with blush, just separating them into like three little videos so that they're a bit easier to digest. Um, blush comes in different formats. It comes in cream, it comes in powder, it comes in liquid, it comes in frosts, it comes in mattes, it comes in shimmers. There's, there's a million different formats. I am one of them people that doesn't really believe there is a perfect shade for everybody. I think that we can each wear many, many shades of things. It depends on what you're going to pair them with. Um, and I think whatever shade gives you joy in your heart will make you f look beautiful. It's true. If you feel happy while wearing that shade, the beauty will exude. Hmm? Don't know whether that's the right word. But anyway, I am going to start with a cream. And I'm going to start with a brand from um, that I found on 13 Loon called Dehia. This is the brand. This is the cream. I love this color. It's very bright and it might scare you, but please do not let it scare you because it's actually very, very easy to manipulate. So when I touch it with my finger, that's what I get, which is amazing. I'm going to wipe that on my towel. That is not my leg. I promise there is a towel on my lap always. So if I dip the tip of a number two KJH Spectrum brush, just a tiny bit, like literally that, that is enough for one cheek. And like, that's plenty. So you're just going to start stippling it on and you're going to start to release the pressure as it blends. So you're going to start firm and then you're going to start getting softer. You see the bristles started bending and now they're not bending anymore. And that helps you to move the product around without pulling things from underneath of this around also, meaning your concealer and your bronzers. If you are too rough with your brushes, nothing will have a definitive place anymore. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. Probably could do even a little bit less on the other side because the brush is already primed with some from the first cheek. So I'm just going to take and get rid of excess in the brush, in the towel. Um, any towel works. These are just the ones from the KJH kit that I've got on my lap. And then you're going to just keep doing the exact same thing. I like blush to be very much like on the cheek, kind of just down below where your wing line it might come out from the sides that's my preference of where i wear it personally and pretty much where i do it on most people so it's kind of on this like you know half on the apple half on the cheekbone a little bit of both then what's left of my brush goes on top of my nose because i just like it go on the tip of your nose if you want to feel like you look a bit chilly cream blushes can be used as lip lip colors as well and even in some cases i would stretch it to the eye the eyelids i would mix it with a bit of concealer to water down the color a little bit um but as you can see that's like enough i do want a touch more on this side so i'm literally just gonna like tickle it with my brush just to pick up a touch more now if i wanted to go on top of this with powder to make it last longer which is something that a lot of makeup artists do to sort of boost longevity in a look um for a celebrity client for example that's going to be going out about all day I could do it straight away. It's not too sticky. It's not too balmy. If this was very wet, I would absolutely 1000% put powder down. And I think just for the sake of education, I will put powder down. And I'm actually just going to use the same exact brush. This is Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm just going to put powder right over the top of all of that blush. Um, and then I'm going to put powder bronzer, powder blush over this. So what have I got? I've got one of my favorite blushes is the Nabla skin glazing glass skin finish glow powder this is the shade truth so this is a bit peach so it's not really in the theme of the color but it doesn't really matter it's going to look beautiful anyway i'm just taking that exact same brush because it's been primed it's been buffed in my towel so therefore there's not too much wet texture in there from this on my skin um and i apply powder with it so it's got powder in it now anyway so i can go back in to it with powder and then i'm just going to skim very very carefully a little bit of this powder this is how much I'm picking up just like a little like that and then I'm just gradually placing it right over the top and the beautiful thing about these Nabla blushes is they have a little bit of pearl in them this is what they look like they're also lovely over the lipstick if you do a lipstick of a similar shade I like to put, put this over my lip color um, and then you kind of have this lovely sort of flush on the cheek I am not shy with blush I love blush I didn't used to Rosie Huntington-Whiteley, when I first ever worked with her, asked me for some blush when I didn't put any on her face. And 
she was kind of like, I was kind of shocked because I guess I wasn't using it myself and I didn't know whether it was a trendy thing to do um, on people uh, or whether people really liked it. I don't know, maybe at the time it wasn't a big trending product in the makeup category, I don't know. And ever since I love blush again. Um, so that's that. And then what I would do to make that a little bit more even if I feel like it needed it, I could take my brush that had concealer in it formerly and just use that around the perimeter of where that that blush lives and just sort of you know blend it in further with a clean brush um or concealer in the brush from earlier who's going to also water it down one thing that i didn't speak about that I, which i realized that i did cover was i put a little bit into my hairline um i really like blush to feel as though it's not just part of the one area I like it to feel a little bit like it lives across the nose and even like across the lips. Like I love when working with a celebrity client to sort of take a little bit of what was in the blush, especially if it's like a radiant blush like this and sort of skim it across the lip too so that it kind of connects everything. But do you see how pretty that is? Just that little bit of sheen on the lip and you could put a little balm over that if you wanted to or lip liner. And that is how I blush. Here is a close up. Hopefully we're in focus here. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, share this with a friend who you think it might be helpful for. And thanks for watching. I'll be back with some more videos soon. Wednesdays and Sundays are the days we are posting to YouTube.